Hello, everybody. This is Kaylee Fretz. We've got a special announcement. This is the teaser for a brand new podcast that we are launching on the Escape Collective Podcast Network with, well, our good friend, uh, friend of the pod, friend of Escape Collective, professional cyclist, Jack Haig. Welcome, Jack. How are you? Thanks, Kaylee. Yeah, I'm excited to try and start something with you guys. I guess my relationship with the Escape Collective or even just Wade goes back quite a long way. Um, we're both sort of from Melbourne and in the recent time that I spent in Australia for Tour de Under at the start of this year, I sort of reconnected with Wade for the first time in a pretty long time and we had a two-hour bike ride that turned into about a five-hour bike ride because we ended up sitting at the cafe talking about things and it sort of got me thinking about trying to start doing a podcast or some kind of media venture with you guys because I enjoy your work and I've been a supporter of the Escape Collective since the beginning. So I reached out and here we are. Here we are. So this isn't the first real episode, but it's going to be called The Rest Day with Jack Haig. You can get it either on its own. We'll have its own channel like every single one of our podcasts, uh, or you can get on the main Escape Collective. We call it the Everything Feed, if that's what you're trying to get. But Jack, what are what are you going to be talking about? What do you want to make a podcast about? Essentially, it's going to be a variety of different subjects. To begin with, it'll probably be talking with some of my teammates and some of the people that I have some friendship with, just they're the easiest people to connect with. But I sort of want to use this platform as a bit of an excuse to have conversations with people that I might not normally have, whether that's with the bus driver who, yeah, I see all the time, but I don't necessarily sit down and have a chat with him about what happens to the bus or whether it's the nutrition side of things and just also general casual conversations between us riders. I think sometimes the general media and the interviews that we sometimes do are a bit to clinical and it's not just general conversational stuff that we talk about when we stop at the coffee shop or when we are just hanging out in a hotel room killing time. So I kind of want to use this as a bit of a platform to share some of those insights and some of the stuff that we, happens behind the scene that, that we maybe don't do a very good job of showing. That's why I'm particularly excited about it. I mean, I'm speaking as a cycling reporter here who's done a lot of those interviews uh, and and I wouldn't say struggled through them, but, you know, sometimes you guys don't want to talk to me and that's just fine. Uh, but you do like talking to each other. <laughs> so we're going to get, so I think, some insight that, yeah, frankly, like sort of traditional cycling journalism maybe cannot always provide. So first episode, you're talking with Wout, right? Yeah, so I'm going to head to the start of Wealth Catalonia at the end of this week and then I'm going to catch up with probably my best friend in the team, Wout Pools. And last week, I raced Paranis. I didn't do very well personally, but uh, hopefully I do a bit better in Well to Go to Linea. And then Wout was racing in Torino, and I sort of wanted to get a bit of a comparison. They're two relatively big, important World Tour stage races that happen at the same time. And generally, riders who are doing each program have a preference for which race they want to do. I just wanted to talk to a out about his experience of doing both Paris and Torino, what the differences are, how was Torino this year, and then for myself, I've done Paris most years, but I did Torino once, and we can sort of discuss why riders would choose each race and what the differences are, to be honest. Well, as I said, you can find The Rest Day with Jack Haig on the Escape Collective Everything feed or on The Rest Day with Jack Haig feed, whatever you want to do, and it'll be up every other week. We'll be, we'll be dropping these episodes. Most often, it'll be dropping on a Friday. I I'm not going to promise that every week because, frankly, we might have some special episodes. We might have some emergency episodes. Something crazy happens in the Pro Peloton. We, we need Jack's insight immediately. But for the most part, you can pick this up every other Friday on the Escape Collective feed or on the Rest Day with Jack Haig feed. Thanks for listening, everybody, and keep an ear out for the first episode. 